3 of our S3 service. So here in today's video, we are going to see that how to enable the static website hosting into our S3 bucket and how to host a static website through the S3 bucket. So let's start. So before moving to the hands-on of uh, how to host a static website, first of all, let's take some short introduction about actually what is a static website hosting. So we can host static website through S3 bucket and make them internet accessible. So if you want to make your website internet accessible, you can enable the static website hosting into the S3 bucket and you can host your website through the S3 bucket. Next, the website URLs depends on a particular region. So let's say that I have created my bucket into the East region. So whenever I will enable my static website hosting, the URL of that will contain my particular region, which is East. When, wherever your bucket is created, the region will be included into your website URL. Then next, we need to attach the bucket policy which allows public reads. Of course, we are hosting a website, so we need to make our website publicly accessible. So for that, we need to create a bucket policy and we need to attach that policy to our bucket so every user can see our website which we have hosted. So here is the user and we are going to provide the public access to our bucket so uh, that we, uh, they can access our website very easily. So now let's move on to the hands-on and actually enable our static website hosting into our S3 bucket. So now let's enable our static website hosting into our S3 bucket and host our first static website. So first of all for that you have to go to the properties part and down you will get an option of static website hosting. For now, it is disabled. We have to enable this option. So, click on edit button and here we will enable this option. First of all, hosting type is we have to of course host a static website. So, we will go with that only. We will choose the host a static website option. Then next, we have to specify our index document here. So, index document means the first page of our website. So, for me, it is index.html. So, we have to name the file here. And then we have to save the changes. So our static website hosting is successfully uh, enabled now. So let's go to the option. You can see here our bucket our website endpoint. As I told, every website URL will contain the region in which our bucket is created. So for me, my bucket is created in the East 1 region. So my website contains the region name. Right, every URL will contain the region name in which your bucket is created. Okay, so now let's upload our index.html file. Let's go to the objects part and click on upload and upload our index.html file. Okay, so let's upload it. Let's wait. Okay, so our file is uploaded now. Let's close this and let's go to the properties part again and copy the URL. This is the URL, we'll copy it and we'll paste it on our browser. Okay, so we are able to see our website, right? We have successfully hosted our static website here, which says hello to S3 Cloud Hub, right? And we have the icon of our channel. So this is how you can host a static website through your S3 bucket. So that's it for the video. Meeting you in the next video.